Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. We all have different stories of our lifelines. Our lifelines are the people that we meet through our work, usually. We start to become more and more a part of our friendship group, our fellowship group, our fun group, our activity group, our outside work group. Almost everyone gets involved in a company and finds someone to hang with on occasion. When I worked in manufacturing, I found that person and that liaison, and we had a good time. I went back to visit about a year ago when I still had a fully paid for business vehicle and was having some struggles, and I thought maybe she would know someone who could check things over and figure out what the fuck was going on. I think she was pretty happy to see me, but then some things transpired, and I decided to walk away. I wasn't interesting and ha interested in having to, to drive 100 miles an hour to catch up to someone when I didn't know where I was going. The Lord said it's just time to go away, and I did. It's too bad because I really cared for that person during that period of time. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the people that we love. And sometimes what we discover is that the people that we love for a large percentage of our lifetime are no longer available to us. Or sometimes we have to communicate to people that we loved for a large period of lifetime that since you chose to deliver yourself to a different space, I can't continue this relationship. But there are people who are cowards. There are people who are liars. There are people who interfere with other people's lives out of jealousy or desires that don't have any right to do it. And the thing that I try to preach as a pagan and a priest is that you don't have a right to anyone's life if you haven't earned it. You cannot earn it without a relationship. And if you don't have a relationship, you can't force a relationship. But there are people that will lie about the relationships they've had. They will say, we weren't that good of friends. They will say, I didn't do anything to encourage this. And they will have forgotten everything they ever said and did in that situation. We have people who are marvelously aging. And when you age, you tend to lose some of your memory. Also, people who are under a great deal of stress and duress through the loss of significant life partners don't always remember what they did, what they said, how they behaved through the horrible loss or stresses of their life. I can remember being on the telephone with someone I really deeply loved and she was literally shouting at her friend who was enabling her to stay with her while she was in a totally different state. And I was sort of mortified for my friend and I was sort of feeling bad for the person I didn't know. Because nobody deserves to be yelled at, you know? especially if they're a friend. But what I know is that people do a lot in the way of transference. They transfer their arguments on other people. I got accused many times by one person I deeply love of having done something to harm her, and I don't know of anything like that. What I know is that I followed every aspect of the Bible to try to repair a relationship that seemed to go haywire, and I didn't really feel that I caused that. What I felt at the time was after all I had done, after all I had served, after all the extra special things I did without any income and a waste of my time in some cases, some of which the fault was mine, with not understanding the right target for that. But what I can say in all honesty was I just was done with that. I was also going through my own losses and I could feel it coming and see the writing on the wall and what I felt was that my dear business friend needed to give me a break and call me. She never called. For the rest of my life, I may feel this loss. And I know loss very well. I have lost my father. I have lost my wife. I have lost my son. I have lost the one that is the one. And I've lost a marvelous friend who was really helping me to grow in my spiritual life. And I lost a good friend who would go with me to different places for that study and would introduce me to people that she knew. But in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth that people change, shift, and grow. But when you reject the plan that God has for you, you often end up in hell. And the hard part about growing up and the hard part about learning is that sometime we miss the lessons that God has for us. 
sometimes we miss the people God planned for us because we're so believing they're supposed to look like somebody else. 